On the left, we have an, the editor with a simple moving average implementation in Defiant. On the right, we have the compiler waiting for changes in the, in the code uh, to compile and present us the output. Here we have the output of the, the, the simple moving average design uh, as Defiant sees it currently. Let's add automatic pipelining and see what happens. Now we get an extra pipe stage at the output here in the sum. We can also have manual pipelining added. Defiant will balance the pipeline and now we get an extra pipe here on the addition. So Defiant differentiates between a prev and a pipe. A prev is a state and it cannot be removed and added automatically. A pipe can be according to the constraint we have. So now that we have uh, added pipelining, let's compile it further. We can pile it to our selected uh, backend, a very log, but currently we, we look at the output. This is an RTL equivalent code in Defiant. So we have a clock and reset signals. And this is defined code, but with RTL semantics. To see the generated code, I add, a, a, I print out a, the generated uh, files. And now we, we get something very similar, but now in Verilog. Here the import selects what uh, is the backend that we chose. So instead of Verilog, I can now select VHDL with revision 2008. We have four different backends supported, two revisions of VHDL and Verilog. So now we get a VHDL backend. So uh, the last thing we see from this example is what happens if I make a mistake. Let's say I forgot to resize it, the sum. So Although we get a compilation here, now when we run the compiler on the right, we also get it as part of the presentation com a, a compiler error in the editor itself. So it's very easy to know that there is an error. We don't have to co to wait for, I don't need the compiler on the right. I just, the, the editor will show me such errors that it's able to determine compile time. Okay. Let's move on to the next example. Now we will see the uh, OMPS integration example. Here we have a snippet of something very similar uh, to what we do with met uh, matrix multiplication. We have an import of the uh, OMPS part of the library and an import of a pseudo sequential part of this library. Uh, we get an OMPS, we extend an OMPS interface. We have input A, input B, and output C. And uh, this is a, an array, a partitioned array for the, for, of the matrices. So we create a design, we instantiate uh, the uh, the uh, the interface that we just defined, and we uh, get and we set up a state machine, and look at how short the state machine is. So it 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 gets the initial start a uh, uh, condition and inst instantiate a con a counter sets up an address and so on. This is not entire matrix multiplication implementation, but it's just example of, of something that uh, uses all these features. And let's look how large the code is, the generated code is. So we compile uh, it, again, still just initial compilation as defined sees the code. And we see all those input and output signals that are hidden in, in this interface. So all these signals are, are things that we don't need to write manually. Everything is added automatically. And we access C with set address and C dot 
uh, c.asset address, c.write, and so on. And the set address, actually, because c is a partition, we get many, many, uh, all the, the setting of the address of all the partitions. Additionally, when we do a write, we get this match statement that uh, goes, again, for all the partitions and, and does the same thing. And we have a for statement here that does uh, creates a counter and uh, and sets up part of the stick machine. So everything here is this is a part of the case, and this is cases as a suspended case that matches the the code that we have on the left. This the code on the right is readable. We can uh, in uh, reason about it. So it's not something that HL, we write a loop in HLS and we don't know what is going on at the final stage. What we write is what we get. Uh, that's only a few parts of the many benefits that Defined uh, gives us. And I will be glad to answer any other questions you have. Thank you.